Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Adventures in Arcane Space. Once again, our players are... Hi, I'm uh, Corporal Hagemus First Class. First Class Corporal. I, I haven't figured it out yet, but I'm a gift <laughs> fighter. Braxton? <laughs> um... Braxton said BRB. Oh, I miss yeah, that. All right, we'll oh, skip in him. Uh, hi, I'm G-Man. I play Yeldon Sharpie, an Elven Ranger from Realm Space and a destroyed Moon Elf village. I'm James. I play Akar, Human Paladin. Uh, I play Valisana, an Elven Wild Mage. Braxton, you're breathing into the mic. Sorry. <laughs> Should I go with him? <laughs> no, go ahead. Hi, I'm Zachad. I play Lafto Minglid, a specialty priest of Elgrin Illisir, and he also steals stuff. A thief. I'm shocked. A thief? Oh. Uh, I, I could have said yes. Skullduggery or something like that. Well, that's true, but you don't do a whole lot of Skullduggery. No, oh, should do. Anyway, uh, we have last time uh, basically wrapped up uh, everything surrounding... Um, uh, Higamus and needing to get the uh, uh, the tree or the seed uh, for Narlus Onalor. And uh, you guys have uh, returned to Brawl. Um, I know that Yeldon wants to head off to uh, the Pragmatic Order of Thought, talk to them about uh, um, uh, the Neogi and stuff that uh, he had shared with them before. Uh, was there anything anyone else wanted to do as well? Uh, Braxton no. wants to. Go on. Uh, you start. You go first. Braxton wants to find out if uh, anyone's doing anything that threatens shipping, where we might be able to uh, take down a dodgy pirate ship or creature and get paid. Bounties. Yeah. All right. Well, um, you you basically get the the rundown on known pirates that are active and uh, have not been stopped or caught. Um, some of them you've heard uh, heard of before. Some of them are pretty famous. Some of them you you haven't heard of before. Um, but nothing stands out as unusual beyond you know pretty standard piracy. There's always going to be piracy. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right. And uh, Laftal, you were about to uh, say something as well. Um, yeah, Laftal wants to do research on that name. That, um, uh, Jules yeah, title. Yeah, we already recovered that last Yeah, Laftal's Laft Laft going to do it for his own reasons. Yeah, he wants more information than what you guys got. Oh, okay. Then what I, do you uh, guys have? Okay. I have a plan... Later, but I can wait. Uh, All right. I do have a couple of things. Okay. Uh, Higamus. Uh, some things I would like to do are... Uh, I have that dragon head that needs to be taxidermied. Okay. And then uh, also we need to go through and uh, sell stuff, but I guess we can handle that off screen if you want. Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, so we gotta do that, and then I need to check in with my office, and I've already checked in with uh, my uh, gift people, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that's the main things, and then I'll follow along with whatever else anybody else. Yeah, wants to do. I I want to uh, go by my temple, tell them about uh, the latest adventure, and see how things are going around at Brawl, and if there's anything I can do to help, stuff like that. Okay. Typical paladin. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there was one minor thing for me as well. I wanted to get the um, single dragon scale made into jewelry. I wanted to have a symbol of my deity as well, and etched onto it. Okay. Um, it's like a personal item, basically, yeah. not like a holy symbol or anything like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, you can. Uh, spend, let's say, 200 gold pieces to have that done. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, yeah, I wanted to turn one of the 
claws. I'm gonna do two trade buys for that. Is that right? Oh no. That's from Brown. Not a necklace. Yeah. A um. Uh, just getting a hole drilled into it. And then, are you gonna like put it on a leather thong or something, or what? Kind of. Okay. All right. Um, that's pretty cheap. Um, although they need to use uh, a, a special a very uh, hard <laughs> drill, uh, yeah. typically used for for like the hardest rocks and and metals and stuff like that. Um, but uh, since that's all you need, um, you you find a, a, a dwarven workshop uh, willing to do that for uh, ten gold. Cool. Oh, didn't we have some gems that were not cut? Laughter can cut them. Yep, you can spend some time cutting them. Um, yeah, that's also something I'm doing. All right, so you're gonna you're gonna want them cut uh, before all the the stuff is sold, then. Yeah. Okay. So that's during the course of the session. Now, keep in mind that uh, the mer the merchant that you've been going to is away right yeah, now. Yeah, is away uh, apparently in realm space. In realm space. Yep. Uh, his his shop is closed, and just you know, some of the uh, the people nearby mention that. Um, so would you I might know? Hold off selling gems. Now, would I know any alternatives having connections with the thieves guilds? I mean, you can sell them through the thieves guild, but um, yeah, that's usually yeah, that's definitely going to take a much bigger cut. And how much of a bigger cut are we talking about? I don't know. <laughs> right now, I don't know. I'd have to go. I'd have to think. Maybe about it. we should hold on to the gems until your seller gets back. I mean, you're just going to... I mean, it, things would just sell for not quite as much in general. Uh, I mean, I leave it up to you guys. I don't really care so much about money. Would, um... Well, would Yeldim prefer payment in gems rather than money? Isn't there some sort of restriction on how much money uh, is allowed to I take? have to be able to carry it all is restriction. Yeah, but that's not too too big of a deal. He can he can figure something out with that. At some point, he's gonna want a bag of holding for all the gems. Once I get gone. once I get my once we get the money divvied up, I'm probably gonna look into some magic weapons. But yeah. All right. Well. Um... Oh, we do have uh, some magic items that need to be divvied out as well. Yeah. Okay. You wanna. Stuff that's already identified and, and things like that, you mean, right? Yes. Um, I can go through them real quick here, the list. Uh, we have a sturdy leather uh, belt pouch, we believe is a bag of holding. Uh, I think there... that should be as party loot carrying. So this way, Higamus doesn't have to carry everything all the time. Oh, I'm out of it, so I've already got like a bag of holding of sorts. Uh, I, I, I disagree. Uh let me get through the list first, though. Uh, so we have that. We have a thin wooden shaft over a foot long capped with gold and tipped with golden yellow gem. Uh, magical low charge. Produce lights. Um, it's a wand. Basically, Can I... I um, what's the lowest ability of it? Small light. A small light. Can I see if I can use a small light on it? Because I haven't got a wand yet. We don't know the command words for it oh, yet. Oh, alright. So I was going to try and go for a wand for a change, since Levers had all the wands. Uh, there's an orcish warhammer with uh, adamantine runes, mm -hmm. runic inlays. Uh, it's combat and bonus against, uh, or battle against goblins, whatever that means. I wouldn't mind having that, unless Braxton wants it. Okay, let well, me get through the or, rest. Or, 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 you know, battle against goblins. Effective against goblins. Yeah, yeah, that would be like yeah, I was thinking it was a, it, <laughs> because it, we think it's effective against goblins, it might be. Well, it's a... so small. <laughs> if it was yeah. a mall, I would like it. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about that. Okay. Um, um, that one's uh, a think about one. Because yeah. we might want to just sell it as well. Since There's a couple more. Really... Alright, move on. Next. Move on, move uh, on. This uh, there's a warhammer. Um, I'm guessing it. It says not dwarvish make. Do we figure out that was like orcish manufacture? Yeah, that was. Yeah, orcish, it seems yeah. to be an orcish manufacture. Okay. Uh, so this is another one that has a uh, minor combat bonus and has revenge. Whatever that. Two warhammers. So we have two warhammers. 
Okay. I thought we only had one. Sorry. No, there's two. There's two. Uh, this one, this other Warhammer is one we got back in the Beholder area that we still hadn't given out yet. And then we have a blue silver dove shield. I, I think it's medium. Medium shield. I think it's small what, shield. Small shield? Okay. Which... Um, I have a question regarding that, but carry on. Uh, minor defensive bonus. And then we also have five uh, lead weighted darts that are magical. And I think that's all that uh, I can other see. Other than potions. Well, there's potions too. No, uh, I think I think you throw them and they're like lawn darts. Yeah, I know, but I yeah, mean, they're like the freaking combat like or not. Wait, what? What was your question, Lethal? Do they get destroyed? No, upon use. Unless, unless darts are break, darts are pretty solid. Darts are a lot more solid than uh, um, arrows. Arrows, even. So I mean, obviously, if they uh, if you throw it at a fire elemental or it misses and you're fighting out in wild space, then yeah, it might might be destroyed or be lost. But uh, in general, you can retrieve them after combat. I don't, I don't do the worse. same saving throw thing for uh, darts as I do with arrows. Oh, okay, they're about okay. as strong as arrows and not stronger. I always imagine because of more metal. Well, right, but no, I don't do that. I don't do the uh, the saving throw thing for them. Oh. So, in other words, yeah. if you if you have access to the bodies or the the entire battlefield, then yeah, you can retrieve them afterwards. How heavy are they? Because I would say Lever gets them. I don't know. Can she use them? But wizards not, can I'm, use them. Wizards can use them. Yes. Yeah. How heavy the... are they? Because she can't carry that much. Um, I need to look it up. Hold on. Because I think that's the deciding factor of whether or not. I assume if you wanted them. All right, let me get through the rest of the list here. Uh, so, that's, right. so that was all of the like magical uh, swag. I, I swag, uh, but we also <laughs> have a potions here. Uh, we have a potion of animal control, a potion of gaseous form, a potion of vitality, a potion of healing, a potion of extra healing, another potion of extra healing. I would a potion say of regular healing. I would say yeah. uh, for the the potions of healing. Yeah, executive decision and hand them out. Uh, either oh, okay. do a quick, so the... quick check. So and so, do you have a potion of healing? No. Okay, here you go. So and so, do you have a potion have of healing? That kind of thing. I got you. I got you. Okay, so a potion of protection for warriors. Uh, so warriors, no, we have that. Protection from weapons from for warriors. Protection for weapons, for yeah. warriors. Yeah. So yeah. warriors have to get that, and then uh. Uh, well, it's a sweet water potion. I don't know what sweet water does, but... Oh. Turns putrefied water into drinkable water. Makes it so that water is safe to drink? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. That seems like a party item. That's a party item. Okay, so I'll, I've, I'll do I all the healing potions on. later, then. Um, who wants a potion of animal control? Nah, that's not... Just do the healing potions, because we know for certain they'll get distributed. Well, yeah. I'll do that later off... Off, oh. off yeah. the okay. station. We, so, don't, uh, we don't need to throw the game down for that. Yeah, so who wants the uh, animal control? Just somebody that might want it. Speak up. I think Brett might already have one. Hang on. I've, uh, well, do you want various I'll controls. take it. Might yeah, if Yeldon well. wants it. Yeldon wants it? All right, yeah, Yeldon. Uh, write down your character sheet then when you okay, get, uh, get it. Delete it. Then uh, next we have the gaseous form one. I've already got one. Me buy want it. For that. Me buy want the gaseous form. Might be good for the other squishy Marty member of the party. Yeah, but it also might be good for you, Yeldon, in case you're sneaking around with me and we both need to use the forms to sneak in somewhere even further. So I think it might be good on you or a lever. Could be good for anybody, really. Yeah, I know, but I'm just thinking of the people that sync well. If we're sneaking in a forest. If you would like it to speak up. How many other potions is there? Uh, there's there's, there's two more of that. There's two more. Uh, there's three more, sorry. 
that we need to figure out. Well, now. Le Leva I'm... has alter self, so she can actually change herself if needed. I, I no, might take that. No, I might take that. No one else wants it, but let's see what else. There is. I, I went through the list already. I, uh, um, I just took a potion. That's why I'm kind of hesitant on taking another. One. Well, okay. if no no, let me put it this way, uh, Yeldon, no one else is is jumping up at it, and and uh, you 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 kind of want it. It sounds like since you just said that, go for it. I'd say. Yeah. Okay, know, people, just just tell me if you like it. If you would like to have the potion, I, don't be the antsy. Well, I already took something, or maybe I might want something else. Just tell me if you want the potion. I'll take the potion. <laughs> You'll take it too. Okay, so gaseous form's done. All right, so vitality. Who would like that? I've Oh, Braxton was contesting that. No, no. All right. Uh, vit potion of vitality. That's <laughs> the one Braxton had before. That's pretty good. Yeah. Um, Do you want that, Braxton? He'll have, have that again if it's going. Someone else might want to give it a go. I'm good with you have it. Same. <laughs> Take it, Braxton. You're like the tank of the party, so it's pretty good. In the yeah. Okay, hey, just got to remember not to drink any other potions until it's worn off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Could I... Yeah. Just don't drink any other potions until you start getting hungry again. Yeah. All right, Braxton, I'll let you take that one off. Okay. Uh, next we have a uh, potion of or uh, protection from weapons, and only warriors can have it. So, uh, uh, who would thought, like this one? I thought Braxton Braxton's, took that a while back. Braxton's already got one. Is that oh. not? Same thing. I thought we had two, or is this a different one? I... Or we only have one? I believe you only have one. Oh, okay. okay. Never got removed. And Braxton already has that. Never mind. Okay, I'll take this off then. Yay, that was easy. Um, so it's a metal water. vial. Let me write that down. Yeah, you just delete when you get it all written down. That way you know you have it. And I know you have it. Uh, so potion of sweet water. Old, you're saying this just uh, makes water drinkable? Uh, it makes liquids drinkable. Liquids drinkable. Oh, it makes poison drinkable. Mm -hmm. Does it make the poison in there? Yeah. Mm, it, it turns what it's poured into into uh, pure water. I think there may be some limitations on it, but that's generally what it does. Does it spoil potions, then? Um, you would have to test it to find out. It's oh, not. It depends on the patient. No, no, I think it's great for sabotage. After, wouldn't wouldn't you like something like that? I've already got one. <laughs> I think we were gonna have that as a party item in case yeah, you run into like. Uh, yeah, but it, water someone something. should always carry it if we're out on an adventure, rather than being on the ship. Do you want me to carry it? I've got no problem with you carrying it. Yeah, that okay, sounds good. Cool. Thank you. I appreciate that. Then I will uh, carry around no... the potion of sweet water for when we need it. Yeah, Excellent. There's no, Good job. Uh, beating around. There's also no type of vial on it, so I'm gonna assume it's glass. Yeah, probably. I'm just going to assume glass. Uh, no, it's uh, metal. It oh, metal. there okay. you go. Uh, I'm has pretty sure. Hold on a second. Uh, yeah. Okay, I, I... metal vial. Yeah. Metal flask, actually. Yep. It might be worth us buying some uh, flasks and vials. Oh, yeah, extra stuff. flask while we're here. Uh, I think. Oh, well, didn't, yeah, we're didn't back you do that already? Because I gave you prices before. That was at the yeah. other place, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, well, you got you got enough for now. Unless we, you no, really we want more. Sure. If you want more, then okay. we'll talk about it afterwards. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like, like so... basic basic purchasing, as, as long as you're not trying to buy a hundred of something that, that they probably don't have. <laughs> but we are. You can just say, I buy, you know, you can just write down on your character sheet, deduct the money, and, you know, you can mention, I'm going out to buy something, or something like that, even even are in between th sessions. I don't there... care about the, the, the well, minor stuff. All right, here's another question, then. It's, how often do items restock, so to speak? Like, months, weeks? Um... Does it take your own reasoning on that, or...? Well, yeah, yeah, it is. I mean, all right. So, like, after like a week or something, I can supposedly so... expect more files to be readily available. Yeah, maybe. A week. I mean, it, well, but see, good. it also depends on how many you're trying to buy. You know, yeah. If you're just trying to Six, buy three or four, how many do you want to end up with? 
There's only because there's a stupid decanter that I've completely ignored for like two months, so it's probably worn out by now. <laughs> yeah, well, you might want to look at that. The the other thing is you could always order something in if someone doesn't have stuff. Yeah. And then we, we get it later when we complete an adventure. They go, oh, we've got your order of 79 brass buckles or whatever. So were there any other potions that we haven't talked about? Uh, oh, no. One? no. I'll, I'll deal with the healings out, out, off screen. Um, but yeah, that's all the other ones we have. Uh, uh, the only other thing I'm going to ask is magic arrows. Are there any? No, there aren't any. Okay. Well, there's magic ballista bolts if you want to try to use those with your bow. <laughs> oh, since I've got the vial, should I just empty out the decanter then? Well, uh, you go to look at... Uh, um, is it actually, actually gone now? Is it, it is actually empty now. Oh, uh, all right. Fair enough. Well, now it's just a big bottle. Is this... oh, I was going to say, does it still register as magic? But... Yeah, you... Not anymore. You magic. It's a big glass bottle. All right, so let's get on to the real items here. Uh, Warhammer uh, that has uh, minor combat and revenge. So I'm guessing, like, uh, when it, you get hurt by something, mm. you either get like a plus to hit or a plus more damage to something. Well, Bra Braxton already said that he would take that to test it, uh, but not take it as personal item, and then someone else can take it if if they decide they like it. I'm kind of more interested in the one that the 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 goblin hurting one. Mm -hmm. Well. How about we take one each, and then if we want to swap or whatever, we haven't said we own them yet. Okay. Uh, if uh, Ocker takes something, he has it for good, though, doesn't oh, he? Oh, yes, yes, yes. If I take something, it's stuck on me for good, and I can only give it to my church or loan it to somebody, but I have to get it back. Right, Paladin. <clears throat> well, then we give it to you, then, the one you want. Yeah. What I'm gonna be giving him, sorry. There's two yeah. warhammers. Oh. Hmm. Um oh, I'm not I already have a magical mace too, so Yeah, well I mean Bra Braxton's already got Age's burden, so it'll just mean he leaves Age's burden on the ship and takes this other thing instead. That means Arca's got a second magical weapon then, because he's only got one, I think. No, he, he has to keep track of how many magic items he has in the hold. Yeah, I know, I know. I mean, uh, I can has an alternative to his sword. Give if me a second. I'm sword, and he's got another weapon to go to. I think I All can right. only have like four magic weapons. Correct. Yeah, so this would be right. my second magic weapon. All right. So, Ocker, which one did you want? The the one that is effective against goblins and has a bit of animantine. Okay. Write it down your character sheet, and then once you get yeah. it, uh, delete it off. Uh, oh, wait, and I Braxton, you said you wanted to hold on to this other one? Yeah, so... Um, Give it a shot, see if it's not cursed, it like he's just burning. Uh, yes, yes it's orcish. orcish. Yeah, I'm recording it into my character sheet. Just cut out the player thing. I am surprised that uh, uh, Higmas did not go for that Warhammer. I... <sighs> It's pretty it's sure I can hurt with goblins. goblins. Yeah, but it's good against goblins. Yeah, I'm looking... a, it, but it's also small. Is the thing he can miss, he put up. It's small. I'm looking for the one in the player information that already gets deleted. I personally uh, don't like Warhammer. It's at the bottom. <laughs> All right, no, I'm just, I'm, I'm just saying. Board. This is a. Uh, yeah, no, no, it's, a, fine. Uh... it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just, I was just saying, I'm surprised. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it's it? It's at like the bottom of the magic item. Blue. It doesn't make him look fancy. That's why he doesn't want it. <laughs> he looks kind of puny with it. Yeah. Man. Okay. Any other items, or are you gonna hold off yes. on distributing the other stuff? Let's. Uh, I can't see find can't the thing on the sheet. Done. Hey, old. Can I? Because I know I've been robbed. Can I check three of my potions to see if I've still got them all? You've got all your potions. And all my scrolls and stuff. Yeah. yeah just check them. I thought it was a good idea. Because I didn't know she yeah, got my... Because she was also good at all of... Uh, let's see. Oh, I just saw that you 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 asked a question. Uh, How big is the 
it's not a decanter. First of all, you keep calling it a decanter. I've, I don't think I've, it called? it's, it's, well, the item was I... a flask of many potions or something like that. Oh. It's a flask. It's it was, just it... a, a Did I write it as a large flask, flask or something? Uh, I mean, it it's, it's basically a large glass bottle. Large glass bottle. But it's bigger right. than most of the potions. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, it held five. Yeah, it had to be to fit multiple potions. Brax has already got the Orcish Warhammer written on his sheet. <laughs> oh, actually, it's called a Beaker of Plentiful Potions. My mistake. So it's a Beaker. Well, but that that's the item name. Uh, it was a stoppered name. flask. It yeah, it's it was easy a stoppered... to remember as large glass. Yeah. Well. So, so we were completely wrong about what it was. Yeah. Alright, uh, any other... Yes. Uh, sorry, I was waiting for you to finish with all that stuff. Uh, we have that uh, wand or rod is a wand, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, Leva, do you want to hold on to the wand? Well, I thought. Or. Laugh. Go ahead. To. Oh, Laughter, you want to use the I wand? I wanted to know or if I could use it. Mm-hmm. Laughter, I wanted to use it. Oh, no, but I oh. had to do research on it, didn't I? We don't okay. know the. Uh... Command word, Magic yeah. and words on it. Because I'm already doing research at the moment, so I won't be able to research it. Here's a question. Can Can't we... You... It, uh, can, did we check it over for the command words to be written on it? It's not written on it. Okay. I was just making sure. Sometimes that's the case, like with the Horn of Blasting. I mean, I would want it, but I don't have time to invest in it. If someone else wants to invest time in it, they can have it. Um, can we can we ask Nor to research something like that, Rod? When he's uh... you'd have to pay him. Wand. It's not a rod. Yeah. Okay, wand. Whatever. <laughs> rod. Item. So okay, real fast. A rod is like a scepter. Yeah. So like I just like, that's the, I know it's just a big big size difference. Generally, you're yeah. going to find wands. Think Harry Potter. Yeah. Um, anyway, all right. Um. The thing is, is that if it costs money, then he's not going to spend his own money on that. Yeah, I appreciate that. I'm not asking if we can get him to do it free. I'm just seeing if that's an option. Why? Why is there this thing about time? I'm not having I'm time devoting to... my time to doing researching that name, Jules' name, and her pretty style. That's going to be taking all my focus. Can I research it? but then pass it on to Laftool? Sure. Okay, then I'll do that. All right. Uh, and then we have this uh, belt pouch that we think is a bag of holding. I personally think that Leva, with her uh, weight allowances, <laughs> needs this because Higamus <laughs> is tired of carrying her stuff for her. <laughs> uh, you can put all your spell books in it. So you can... Yeah, <laughs> I true. think it's really good for a wizard of all characters. Yeah, that's, oh, uh, think... that's probably a good argument. Y'all then would want... Uh... You know Lafter that, wonders uh, if he can so fit no, inside the bag holding. He would, he would know, but... No, never mind. I'm gonna... Lemon holds the bag open and says, Jump in! Try it! <laughs> oh, should I risk it? No. What's the worst that could happen? I don't know. You die? I have no idea hey, what's the worst that can happen. <laughs> Would my character like adventure that much that he's willing to try this? Um, no. I don't know. Right. That's up to you. Isn't that another dimension? Yes. Yes, with no air. Is... All right, now. That's was my next question. Gonna... Is there no air in that dimension? There's, there, yeah, is, right, no. there is as much air in there as the space can hold, but keep in mind that once it's closed... Like I mean, oh, Laftel yeah. Laftel knows about this now uh, from his uh, own pouch oh, that has extra extra dimensional holding uh, spaces in it. Um, you could put a living thing in one of those, and it would live until it uses up all the air. Right. Mm. Uh, turns to Higimus. Higimus, would you mind holding the bag open? Because uh, if if Laftel is too heavy, if I'm if I if I hey. feel the weight and I let, I let the bag drop, 
Oh, come on, it's in your own interest. If I feel the weight and I let the bag drop, then you are much more likely to die quickly than if somebody like Higamus just uh, quickly holds the bag and, and turns it upside down if, uh, if you want to come back out. Oh, that's well, another thing. How do we know how, uh, when you want to come back out? We just uh, And how do we you get you out? You need rope to tie it around me. Okay. How are you guys talking about this? It's the venture yield. <laughs> I do whatever well, they want me next, to do. Next thing I know, you guys are going to try experimenting with that, an arrow, and a portable hole. What? <laughs> I'm not serious about actually doing it. I thought it would be funny, though. <laughs> No, you take well, the well, just hole. said he would, uh, he would do it. Run. All right, are you going to jump in? Unless, I'm not, I'm not for or against it. I thought it would be a funny idea. Are you going to do it or not? Sure. All right, I get Brax's rope to tie around me. Well, okay. after all, you might want to think about I... your tricks you have played on Higgimus before you would no, jump I in. I make myself smaller as well, so... <laughs> Bra okay. Braxton, Braxton, make sure he's got the uh, command word for untying the other end of the rope memorized. This is going to be quite hilarious. All right, so, so hold on, hold on a second. Uh, Describe for me get... what exactly you're trying to do. Are you trying to make him go in there head first or feet first? Yeah, he, they're trying to get off. us trying to actually go into the bag. Arch, watch, what would happen if I hold my hand the bag doesn't it, open wide enough the, the bag does not open wide enough for you to go in no but what if I made myself smaller that was the whole point maybe if I made myself 50% smaller okay then yeah I'd say that you Are probably you squeezing? could no, would I be stretching guys, the bag too much guys don't no. rip the bag no, you can get in if you make yourself 50% smaller. I'll say that. All right, I just got to make sure I get out in time. No, this will be an interesting... Uh... So... This is when this is when he ends up on the astral plane. <laughs> he has to roll another <laughs> character up. This is when all the people he played tricks on uh, go, hey, let, loosen the rope. <laughs> Are you taking any other precautions before you go oh, in there? Oh, right now. All right, now. I probably make, shouldn't mix two bags of holding them to each other. Give me, give me your other bag so I can hold on to it while you're doing this stupid thing. Yeah, stupid. It I is. take off like, like all my magical equipment. Basically, I'm just going in my leather armor. That's magical. Okay. Now I, I assume we're testing out this bag in like the morning or something, at an inn or something. No, uh, I oh, guess yeah, whatever. Of in, uh, how much does it cost? Say the name. Uh, I. It's been a while. Yeah, it has been a yeah. while. Uh, six gold pieces can... per night, How much? I think. Six gold pieces per night, I think. I mean, you've that's got a ship gold. with your own... Yeah. Yeah. Like... yeah Bra Braxton, Braxton's not going to be staying in and in with you. I mean, unless you want the, the added luxury of, like, maybe a hot bath or something like that, you, you've you got a... Yeah, I'm thinking probably one night. It's been, like, four months okay. or whatever. All right. Basically, uh, yeah, I'll do it. I'll do it. Like, so. Get a bath. I mean, there's that, there's right? almost certainly public baths on Brawl too. I just none none of them are, are listed. Yeah, but... but does he really want to bathe around others? That would be pretty normal for basically anyone who's yeah, grown I'd, up as uh, a. I'd argue based on society, yeah. what your society is. Most most houses in the in on Brawl probably do not have private bathtubs and stuff like that. So okay. So anyway, so so you you shrink yourself down. You're you're tying the rope to yourself. Uh, I'm asking Braxton to command the rope to attach onto me. Left. Okay. Left. Not to. Yeah, it just ties around me and just holds me. Left. Leva shakes your oh. hand and says, "It has been very nice knowing you most of the yeah. time." Make sure <laughs> to take off. Uh, yeah, I've taken off all take... my equipment apart from my magical armor. Apart literally... from your magical armor. Yes. I thought you didn't want to take any magical items into the bag. No, he... I don't think there's any downside to taking armor into the bag. Okay. That's your choice. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, so you shrink yourself down, you uh, you tie the rope to yourself, and uh, you are definitely able to crawl in. Climb in. Right. Crawl in, however you want to. Um, I go in, then I go back up. I'm not staying in there for very long. Were was uh, um, level? Were you gonna close, draw the the, the top close <laughs> while he's in there? Well, I certainly wasn't, but I passed it uh, passed it on to Higimus anyway I to keep not. it open. To... 
Okay. Um, then uh, uh, Laftel, um number one, it's a really, really good thing that you did not take that uh, pouch of accessibility in there. Um, the, yeah, I kind of need mixing two bags was a bad idea. The uh, space inside, you'd say it's about uh, 30 cubic feet. Oh, so I can tell a lot how big it is as well. Yeah. There's also a weight limit on them, but there's nothing inside of it, though. How how heavy there's is the bag? How heavy is the bag, called? When last it weighs fifteen pounds. There. Fifteen pounds. Yep. So it hasn't got any heavier. Nope. Braxton says, sh shake it up and down a bit. Hasn't got any oh, heavier. Oh, that's not going to happen with this. Actually, I don't know. It might not have. Can uh, can um can Braxton swing the bag around over his head? Higamus is holding it. Right Higamus is holding. Yeah, Higamus is holding it, and it hasn't been closed. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Oh, Flaftel learns of this. Well, you don't know that. Uh, yeah, so coming, I said if he right back out, So. I mean, since it hasn't been closed, you can still see out. There's plenty of light. You know, you got light coming in from outside. Flaftel would like to get out now. Okay. All right. It's right, definitely yeah. small enough that you could climb out easily, so yeah. you don't need help here's, from the rope. Yeah. Here's the thing that I was worried about. It was bag of fake holding where it actually destroys anything you put in it. Well, now you tell me about that. <laughs> that was a terrible way to die. That's why I was like, you know what? Yeah, well, you I did say I put my hand that. in first to test to see if my hand disappears. So I don't think anyone heard that. No, I did not hear that. So you'd have had one hand missing. Yeah, I mean, I will, I will point out that the very first thing that anyone decided to do was uh, that, that I heard was going in full body. So, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's an adventure. Laughter's an adventurer. You know. Can uh, can can Brax to take the bag off of Higgins and turn it upside down? Uh, it's no, I'm Higgins. climbing out. Yeah, Laughter's already climbing out though. Uh, okay, fair enough. So yeah, you're you're pretty sure that uh, there's about uh, thirty cubic feet of space inside there. And the bag itself is fifteen pounds. Yep. But you'll be able to cancel out some of the weight of stuff you're carrying by putting them in the bag, which doesn't uh -huh. add any more weight. Uh, okay. I wouldn't put anything that has like an extra dimensional space. Yeah, not my pouch. Don't mix them. Or her uh, bag of fuzzies. Was... Oh uh -huh. yeah. I've I was actually playing with the thought of opening it and putting one of those fuzzy into the bag with uh, with Laftel. You can't. Oh, well, <laughs> actually. Also, Yishan, what is that one? Don't you have that uh, robe or something that has those patches on it? Mm-hmm. That's. Uh... She didn't put that in there either. I'm wearing that. I'm not yeah, going to put it in there. Why would she put it in there? She wears that. Oh. In case she makes herself smaller and decides to jump in. <laughs> I quite do. <laughs> and close it on top of me so nobody can see me. Okay, well, um, I will let uh, you, Leva, decide on your own what you're going to put in there. Um, but you, you don't need to detail it to all of us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, well, I need, I, I, I need to... Poof, I need to get rid of 12 and a half pounds. Well, you know, you got you a new thing that... that yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um... But uh, yeah, so Laftel right now has uh, um, detailed what he has inside his things and, and stuff like that. And you'll basically need to do the same thing as well because um, anything that's inside there when you're out in the Phlogiston, you wouldn't have access to unless you take it out before going into the Phlogiston. Yeah. Oh. So keep that yeah, in mind. So yeah. Good to know. Thank you. Basically, your weight goes up. And... Well, you don't have to be when you're on the ship. You don't. You're not necessarily. Yeah, you don't. So you're carrying it. Oh. Uh, you'll also need to, um, you know, obviously for for weight purposes and stuff like that. Uh, um, you'll need to know. And uh, the bag itself, uh, you know, like if you fail a saving throw versus uh something that would destroy items that you're wearing, things that are inside the bag cannot be destroyed by that. So. Oh, good. Unless like the bag itself is destroyed. Right, but see, if the bag itself is destroyed, the things inside are not actually destroyed. You just lose them. I lose them? Yeah. 
Yeah, unless you can somehow find a way of getting to the to astral that plane of existence. No, not not it's to usually, that plane of yeah. existence. You have to get to the astral plane. And yeah, then, it's the astral so, plane. And then find the but things. That, just dropping the bag or just or, or, or yeah, dropping it uh, is not enough. You or could put you could put the most expensive and fragile glass and crystal ware in there. And throw the bag around your room, your like hacky sack with it, and, and not a single thing in there would be damaged. Okay, good. Um, could I, just a, a, as an example, could I put those cases with the vials in it? Sure. Yeah, so I've done mine. Okay. And is there a limitation on the number of items in there? There is a space and a weight limitation. But I'm not going to tell you exactly what the you, Lapdal's already figured out the uh, space limitation because he went in. Uh, but the weight limitation you won't know. Un okay. Until you fill it up, figure that. Put any more yeah. In. Well, no, yeah. it's not. It's not whether <laughs> it's it's literally a case if you overload it, it ruptures, and you lose everything. Oh. So. Oh, so you could. Uh, you might want to do researches you, on yeah, bags like this. Probably research find out, on that. Figure it out. I have, a, I have a great big grin on my face right now. <laughs> so just keep that in mind. Yeah. Keep that in mind. It's, it's this, uh, I don't know. It's a, I don't know. And maybe, yes. I mean, like, you... I'm actually not going to let you research what the, the weight limit is. Um, That's something that you're going to have to hope you don't exceed. Uh, but these things that you that I've told you are things that you would be aware of with the spellcraft proficiency because uh, extra dimensional spaces, uh, bags of holding, pouches of accessibility, rope trick, stuff like that. Uh, these are all pretty common magical knowledge. So, uh, Laftal, how heavy are you? Oh, that's a good point. Yeah, but I never stayed in the bag. I was being held on by the rope, surely. Or was I actually standing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but how heavy are you? I'm not asking that you broke the bag or anything. I just want to know how heavy you are. No, all right, no. Um... <laughs> that's just plain information. <laughs> I... Where is it? Wait, it's 96... Uh, I assume no pounds, or...? Yeah. Plus, oh, yeah, plus the armor. Uh, the armor, which leather armor... Uh, hang on, uh, I think that's 15, I'm not sure. So let's say 100, that's 120. But he was also that's... reduced to 50%. So, so half, 50 half it's, the, it's still, rate. let's say, 60 or 70 pounds. Let's say it's 70 pounds. I almost uh, broke the bag straight from the get-go. Which, uh, which is more than double than what I... No, which, yes, it is more than double than what I'm carrying now. So it will take a while until it's full. That's a good thing I did that then, invertedly. Yeah, but the thing is, unless of course you was exceeded the actually those... standing on the ground. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right, yeah. You you stuff. you climbed in, and it it's not about it, it's a physical weight limit. I mean, if you put something in there that was three hundred pounds but levitated, it would still rupture it. Igamos, mm -hmm. don't you dare enter it. Don't play on it. You'd ever it could, even if he was reduced. Could... <laughs> if he's okay. reduced by ninety percent, he'll only be nine uh, ten percent of his actual weight. So, anyway, um, so, so uh, you will need to, to to do that on your own. Um, mm -hmm. Figure yeah. out what what's in there and what's not. All right. Where do I research the wand? Um. Well, the best way would be to uh, legend lore the, the thing. Um. That's a, that's, a, that's a thousand gold that's, pieces. That's yeah, let's identify that pearl. pearl. Otherwise, it's kind of like uh, doing spell research, and I would need to uh, like come up with a uh, uh, a chart. I mean, it would like doing the, the research would would still cost money. Yeah, mm -hmm. but it might cost less money. Probably would. I will say that, but it would take a lot longer. How um, how long would it take? On the order of weeks. Okay. Yeah, it's multiple weeks per. Well, we travel week for week, so. Well, Leva has just said some big expenditure. 
there's no 1,000 gold in her pocket, pocket anymore, in her wallet anymore. Yeah, and I wouldn't fork out that for that, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, we haven't you see, thought... if we put it aside, we forget about it. Not, not, not in terms of forget about it, not having it, but, uh, but forget about it to use it. It depends how many, how long we're going to stay on Bradford. Because if post session we're going to be selling items, etc., then I'll have the money to do the research. But I don't know beforehand. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we're probably not going to be staying on Brawl more than a couple of days, anyways. It's mostly travel time takes. And. Wild. Can we do spell research on Ash? I mean, you'll... yeah, yeah that... I'll let you do research on. on the wand uh, on the ship if you're. Because I can't read the book, so that would have to be another. If you're going long enough. <laughs> you got Could a couple we books. Change it? It's, how does it work? <laughs> if, for example, I, I, I research part of it and then I pass it on to Laughter, can he continue the research? I or can't read the book. Really, no, he can't. Really... He can't read he the has book. to restart from the beginning. He has to start from the beginning. Okay. I think we'd be better off and, um, and if we went on exchanging the languages, Lafto. Uh, yeah, eventually. I've got to take Spellcraft next, though, on the next level after that is the language. So I'm two levels away. I don't know how many levels away I am. I'm almost a, I'm almost at a level up, so I'll get my Spellcraft next level. Actually, speaking of, I need to do training for that because I've not had any training for that. Um, well, we okay. went, you went over Keep that while you, we were traveling back. You were doing some. Oh yeah, I suppose during the next trip. Well, I mean, you you were you spent a lot of the time uh, trying to learn common too, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, then uh, I'm fine with saying that uh, in addition to common, the way that you were trying to learn common was also by learning about magical theories and principles and stuff like that. All right. That's cool. Thank you. Okay. Um, so, since you had some charges of the identify when you finished up identifying stuff before, I will mm -hmm. let you use that without having to use an extra pearl to identify the pearl. Okay. Since you did manage to find that. Mm -hmm. um, was that the item? I'm sorry? Was that the item? Yeah, that was the item that I mentioned. Good and job, Bigamous. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Um, the identify spell reveals that... Cursed. <laughs> identify <laughs> doesn't reveal curses. Um, <laughs> I, the identify, uh, reveals that that pearl, uh, can restore a second level wizard spell once per day. Yeah, I swear, no, I swear I remember that. That has been identified. I don't, I... I'm not, I'm not it even hasn't, kidding. Uh, it, it hasn't been identified, but, uh, we were told... I don't know. No, I don't I think so. Well, now it is. That. It doesn't matter. It's it's identified now. Yeah. I swear I'm not going mad. You're yeah, not. But you are. Yeah, stop you. <laughs> <laughs> All no, right, we so... didn't know which level it could. It, it, it could. No, because I remember it being second level. I remember it could uh, a spell, but not the second level. And it was only to wizards. I th still think that there was some out of game knowledge coming in. But whatever, it doesn't matter. You know what it is now. I I had no idea what it was. You know what it is now. Yeah, I know what it is now. So there no, you go. No, we know what it can do, but we don't know what is it there, is. It is actually only for wizards. Uh... Yes. Mm -hmm. Alright. Well, the only wizard. there's only one wizard in the party. So yeah. Congratulations. <clears throat> really good item. Okay. Thank you. Um, now you, you, somehow... had a, you had another wand that you might want to do research on for the uh, uh, command word as well. Mm hmm So, just keep that in mind. We have not... We have quite a few wands now, actually. Now that How much wanted. library space do we need to research wands per attempt? Um, is it per level per I attempt? Don't, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's this is... I'm, I'm seating my pants in here. Yeah, he has to... Basically, he wants to wait until after the session and then figure it out. Alright. Yeah. I wasn't or sure if that was... Or a, a, a already known thing. Not really. Um, no. it, it's just kind of listed as 
researcher. Anyway, okay, so um, you guys are pretty much done with all of that, I assume, mm -hmm. I believe? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, real fast, Higamus, you take the uh, the head into a taxidermist. Um, they are going to charge you a thousand gold pieces. Okay. Um, they make some comments about uh, could have been better preserved, but uh, they'll see what they can do. Mm. Yeah. And uh, it will take quite a while. Is there I'm a okay spell that can restore that slightly? There are maybe spells that can restore that, but yeah, go see a necromancer. Um, yeah. They're they're oh, is estimating... there any necromancer sword bro? <laughs> I'm joking. No, no, I'm going to the priest temple, so I can mention it for you. They're estimating that it'll uh, probably take them two months of work. You I'm should, okay uh, with that. Okay. If you wanna, Just have if to you wanna collect, to the office when it's done. If Higamus wants to collect dead objects off of animals, he should ask the taxidermists uh, how to preserve call. things. Oh! So next time, next that's time a good he hacks, question. hacks something up and decides to keep part of its body. I will Why ask. Why contact buy a book of taxidermy? Um, they, they go into a long, detailed explanation that basically amounts to, uh, it really depends on the creature. Oh, okay. Uh, also known as the Dungeon Master has no idea. Oh, <laughs> so you All right, have so, an idea, but uh, maybe, maybe. Um, the uh, but so yeah, that'll take uh, two months. So um, you've deducted your that money from your book. yeah. Okay. I'm poor now. <laughs> By poor, I mean I'm rich as a peasant. Okay, so uh, you're actually into negative gold, so to speak. Or... Yeldon, not negative you, gold, but yep. you make your way to uh, the pragma pragmatic order of thought. Uh, to talk to them about uh, um, uh, the Neogi uh, star charts that you gave them last time and stuff like that. The copy, yep. Yep. All right. Uh, your contact there is named Carewith Bowwhistle. Oh, yeah, giving me a name now. Yep. Uh, I came up with a name. Uh, and put he. Put that in the he, chat. He is a, a, a half elf. Yeah, I'll, cool. I'll put it in Discord for you. Hold on a second. I need to change Jewel. <laughs> uh, so you go to meet him, and um, would you have like sent a runner over to let him know that you wanted to talk to him, or would you have just gone and shown up? Uh, I probably would have... Uh, let them know I was going to be coming by because I did spend some time searching up about Jewel and who she possibly could have been. Okay, so this is more like second or third day kind of thing? Yeah. Okay. Um, Definitely had some. Alright, so you go to meet uh, Carewith and he uh, it takes you into a, a private room to uh, uh, to talk to you when you arrive. Pardon me. Uh, he says, uh, upon, you know, closing the door, uh, it is quite serendipitous that uh, you've come back at, at this time. Um, those star charts that you gave us last time uh, were very, very helpful. We managed to locate a, a Neogi slaving base where they were selling and buying slaves, um... And with the help of the company of the Chalice, we managed to stage a raid. It went pretty well. We managed to free at least 300 slaves. Um, we had a good-sized fleet, uh, two hammer ships, a squid ship, and... Uh, um, I had something in mind, and I just slipped it my mind. I'm nodding like I know what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah, I totally does not know what he's talking about in terms of types of ships. That's that's fair. Um, uh, also, uh, a Shrike. That's that's what it, the other one was. Um, and he uh, says, uh, we found their, their base. Uh, we attacked with uh, that fleet. And unfortunately uh one of their vessels did manage to escape with uh, some additional slaves on it um the fighting was quite fierce uh and most of our ships were t 
too badly damaged to continue pursuit, uh, especially once we had to bring the uh, rescued slaves back here and uh, to other locations to send them on their way home and um, set them up with new lives and things like that. Um, now, the reason why I said that it was serendipitous that you arrived just now is because we have confirmed that one of the slaves on the vessel that escaped was your friend, uh, Silver Cloud, I believe his name was. That is your master's name. Yeah, I, I, was, I kind of figured. Okay. Um, now, as he is a friend of yours, uh, would you happen to have a personal item of his? Yes, I do. I actually recently, I found it on that Neogi ship that we got. So, I'll give him the... Um, first, I'm going to... Because I'm actually wearing it now. There's also a dragon claw on it. <laughs> <laughs> I take off the dragon claw and then give it to him. Uh, as you're as you're uh, preparing to to give it to him, he he holds up his hand and says, uh, "No need for that." Um, okay. You have a ship, correct? Yeah. We have some wizards. Uh, well, a wizard and a priest, I should say, uh, who have some magical ability to divine locations based on personal obje uh, effects. Would you be willing to take them on board your vessel and search out this uh, the Neogi that escaped? Yeah. Uh, I will have to talk to the other people in my heart group, but there you, most of them are not friends of slaves. It's too hard to... Sorry, you broke up there a little bit. I said most of them are not fans of slavery, so it shouldn't be hard to convince them. Good, good. Uh, do you think you could bring your captain here and we could have a, a meeting? Yes, I can. Good. Uh, say this evening? Works. Okay. Um, all right, so uh, you head back to talk to Higamus about that? Yeah. Okay. So, you know, like, Someone that is uh, very dear to me who's been captured by slavers has, may have found his location, and somebody in pot wants to see if take on a few members that can help locate them. Oh? When are you yeah. wanting to do this? Well, they want to meet you t this evening. Hmm. Higgins is sticking his head. Is there any way we can get paid for this? Uh, yeah, I suppose there's nine, uh, harm and medium. Okay. Uh, so the two of you return that evening to meet with Karawith? Yep. Uh, I'll also bring, uh, or ask Braxton if you would like yeah, to Bra come along. Braxton will definitely come. Shouldn't we tell the others? Probably should. Probably. Lothal's researching on the temple somewhere, so he's probably um, also visiting the temple, actually. Also, it, you, you may not want to actually bring everyone along. I mean, it's that's a, a large group. He did only ask for the captain. Yeah. That's true. Akira's so that's... Hit, just hanging out at his temple, telling stories about how he fought a dragon. All right. Uh, I guess in this case here, do I need to make a, uh, uh, a check with my um, etiquette? To know if uh, it would be rude to bring Brax along? Uh, no, you don't need to make a check. Um, it would not be rude, but you do know that more than just the first officer would would be too much. Okay. Uh, you know, so yeah, that, I'll, that kinda, I'll, I'll... The, just real fast. Uh, that kind of would indicate that uh, you have a bit more of a democratic. Uh, captaining style, because, you know, you, you take the advice of your first officer and stuff like that on what, you know, what, what jobs the uh, the ship goes on and stuff like that. Okay. okay. Um, got it. Uh, kind of how it works, though. <laughs> well, I mean, it's to be fair to you guys more than anything else. Yeah. But um, that's the way it goes. <laughs> be fair to the player characters. Uh, so, I will mention to the other player characters what I'm getting ready to go do, but uh, I'll just invite Braxton along. Okay. Okay. Good luck getting us work. 
All right. Uh, so you, uh, you, you, you three return um, that evening, and uh, he takes you back into the same private room, um, and uh, you know allows you to sit down, um, and he immediately says, uh, "Thank you for showing up. Uh, I've spoken with uh, my friend Yeldon here. Um, we believe that." Uh, his his friend uh, is captured on this Neogi vessel that escaped. We have some ma- some spellcasters who can use the personal item that he has to track down the vessel. Uh, unfortunately, in our battle, most of our vessels were too badly damaged to uh, continue pursuit. Now, I understand you have a large warship of your own, correct? That is true. Would you be willing to take on board some member of the prag- members of the Pragmatic Order of Thought to track down the vessel and free these slaves, including uh, Master Silvercloud? Uh, what all is going to be involved in this? Uh, well, and you think they've gotten too far away by now? I mean, how long ago was this? Uh, it was just over uh, a week and a half ago. However, uh, we do believe that they are still here. Uh, the ship that escaped uh, apparently had some uh, buyers of slaves on board, um, and uh, we think that they may be scouting out for a new base to set up or some such. Um, that's mostly a, a guess on our part, but we're pretty confident they're still within uh, Brawl Space. In Brawl Space, you say? Mm-hmm. You uh, said there might be other uh, buyers of slaves with them, or uh, a base? Well, the uh, slaves that we indicate, uh, that we rescued uh, indicated that the Neogi were in the middle of some sort of uh, purchasing arrangement uh they never saw the buyers but uh uh, they did hear that there was um uh, a sale in progress uh that that was disrupted by our attack Hmm. i'll look over to braxton you suppose that means there might be uh uh large money involved in all this well um there might be um i have been uh Asking around, trying to find out someone dodgy that um, we could take on. And Slavis sounds like someone. Um, there might be treasure on their ship. Mm-hmm. Uh, if we rescue some rich people, they might give us. I see. But um, it's Neogi, it's Slavers. They're not good people. We. Uh, I'm aware. Get, um, We'd probably get uh, uh, appreciation in the future from people, even if uh, there wasn't a reward. And we might also get assistance from the pragmatic order of thought in the future. Mm-hmm. I'll look over towards uh, Yeldon. This person uh, is important to you? Yep. Hmm. Uh, Braxton says to the uh, the gentleman that uh, he was introduced to, how many people would we be rescuing if we could uh, stop their ship and not have anyone get killed? Well, assuming uh, uh, no one, none of the slaves were killed, uh, we think there may be in excess of uh, 100. And that's one of the reasons why we believe they're still in the area. Uh, that's not a number that could easily be sustained on a uh, intersphere yeah. trip. They, they need to stay places where they can uh, easily refresh their air and food. Yeah. I'm just wondering if we've got enough food on board for 100 people. Um, Ald? Um, uh, Ald? Yeah. Uh, do I know if there's any, like, bounties for uh, Handy and Yogi or to not brawl? Usually, or... not really, because uh, it's, really. it's not that 
I mean, Neo Gi are banned from Brawl, but it's not like there's an actual bounty on on them. Um, okay. A lot it's of a lot of races will just go out of their way to to defeat them, but it's not like they would also just pay anyone who fights them either. It's not that kind. It's not like a super lawful port. So um, okay, but I so, mean, so like, you... the bounties would have to be on a specific individual. Yeah, as opposed to just Neo Gi in general, anyway. Uh, I, I'm just thinking uh, the way Higgins will see this is, yeah, this would be doing good, but he's also got to find where the money is for this because he's got a uh, company and a crew and all that to take care of too. Um, Fair. Yeah. The, uh, uh, the 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 member of the pots, uh, Kara, with uh, uh, does say, um, obviously, any treasure you d you find on the vessel that is. Uh, not owned by the slaves uh, would be yours to keep. Um, in addition, uh, we can offer you full repairs of your vessel for any damage taken, sustained uh, in the fight when you return, uh, and we will resupply your vessel uh, up to its normal maximum afterwards, uh, obviously taking on um, even a, a portion of these slaves if they survive, uh, which obviously we do hope that... Uh, um, most or all of them survive. Uh, we will we will resupply you in in that regard. We cannot offer direct monetary compensation, however. Uh, Bra Thanks. Braxton Braxton turns to to the guy and said, "You said you had spellcasters that would help track down uh, uh, my friend Yeldin's friend. Indeed. Uh, if we manage to rescue slaves." They might need some sort of medical assistance. Uh, are they any good with healing? Um, maybe some basic uh, skills. Uh, um, that the, the, these two individuals uh, are specifically their 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 uh, magical powers are specifically tailored to uh, finding of things and people. Um, right. I do not know what they know in terms of uh, um, medical aid, but, you know, uh, general first aid, bandaging, and stuff like that, uh, I'm sure they'd, they'd be more than happy to pull their, their weight as much as they could. Yeah, yeah I'm you... just wondering if we should take on some extra supplies specifically for the task. I mean... Uh, uh, it would be a shame to rescue people and have some of them die from malnutrition or something. Uh... I would say, unless you are incredibly low on supplies, that that shouldn't really be an issue. Uh, these slaves are, of course, uh, intended to be sold. They are intended to work. Um, they don't you, you even Neogi don't usually uh, uh, treat them that poorly. After all, they are product. Do you think you can find these people with this item of uh, Yeldon's here? Yes, my, my spellcasters uh, have assured me that uh, a personal item would be more than enough to find the vessel. Uh, you think this ability might be something that you could teach uh, one of uh, our spellcasters to, how to do as well? That I don't know. I'm I'm not a spellcaster myself. I don't know what the uh, capabilities are. Okay. I'll turn to Braxton. Uh, this job seems uh, uh, like we can do this. Um, yeah, as long as we're able to recoup our uh, damages and supplies, it should be fine. I'm already yeah. doing this. Yeah, so that's not something I want to do. I think do. the rest of everybody's on board. And this is uh, yeah. important to you, right, Yeldon? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, I'll turn we back to... Uh, getting our crew? No, we'll right. need to do all that as well. Uh, that's still in the process. I'll turn towards the guy and say, uh, I think we'll be willing to handle this job for you uh we will need a, a couple days to or however long it is old to uh uh resupply and refit we just got back from uh a long well, excursion i'm wondering if we've got the time because they'll be heading towards crystal sphere wall won't they no they are that's what he said, what he said. Uh, there's too many people on ah there. sorry uh he, he's, he's pretty sure like they're, they're staying within the sphere so um uh, he uh, he says uh, in response to uh, you, Higmas, uh, that that's fine. Uh, um, uh, my people will need a couple days themselves to uh, uh, get prepared anyway. Um, 
do you think uh, two days would be enough? Uh, before you ask me, yes, two days would be enough for you uh, for all of your <laughs> ship stuff. Um, I'll, I'll think also in my head, uh, was that enough time for the things that Laftel or Leva might have mentioned that they were trying to get done as well? That you don't or, know. That I don't know. I, I'll say, um, yeah, that should be enough time then. Okay. Um, I will have my I'll people... shake on it or do whatever yeah, the he, customary he... thing is. Yeah, he holds uh, out his hand to, to shake. I'll have my people come by uh, your vessel as soon as they are prepared. Um, I will be sending two of our warriors along uh, just for extra protection and uh, fighting capability if you uh, don't have an objection. objection? No. Excellent, excellent. Um, I will have them come by uh, probably tomorrow so that you can get them settled in. Excellent. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. Uh, and with that, you uh, return to the ship to tell everyone else uh, what's going on? Yep. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I'll mention to everybody what's going on. Um, slavers, we need to track them down. There's some people from the Pragmatic or a thought coming with us uh, that will help guide us to where they believe the ship might be full of slaves. Um, we'll fight them and hopefully uh, free the slaves. Do we replace the three gift that we lost? We lost more three gift. Well, the gift, the crew that we lost. Are you going to replace them? Yes, please. Okay, that's fine. Okay, I was yeah. just asking that because that matters for food and water consumption, and such. Uh, basically, I want to bring up our uh, crew up to pre-Last Adventure standards. Okay. Yeah, if you know how many of those are, just go ahead and, and do that. Um, you return to the uh, um, GIF Enclave and uh, request a, a, a assignment of a few more GIF. Um, it's, pack, it's groups of 2,400 of food, right? Yeah. Uh, you get... Uh, um, uh, a few more GIF. Uh, they're basically going to be the same uh, as stat-wise as the uh, other ones you had. Uh, Bra Braxton goes to Yeldin um, when on his own and says, uh, if the others have any resistance uh, to us doing this, I'll be willing to join you in dropping our shares if it, if it convinces them to go rescue oh. your former master. Never said he was. But uh, yeah, okay. Um, he's like, thanks for the thought. I didn't. I don't think think it's necessary though. No, that's fine. Um, but if it if it comes to that, if people are worried about the money, I'll give up my share if you will. I already agree to it. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. Oh, so one batch of twenty four hundred to replace this bet on the back oh. um we'll handle supplies afterwards it's fine uh i don't we'll, we'll calculate it out afterwards um okay so uh, any of the members of the party have anything to say about this anyone else ocker laughed old leva no. nothing negative no fine okay. I'm fine with it. And echoey, too. Uh, wait, what? <laughs> you, you were echoey. Because he's in the temple. <laughs> I didn't need to be. Good point. Okay. Uh, any, uh, uh, so you guys have a couple Bra days. Um... Braxton's wondering if uh, we can do any research on, because um, before he got um, uh, hit by some sort of Neogi mind control attack and he's oh, wondering if we can get anything to uh, protect from that sort of thing um the information ta you know talking to people around uh what you do learn is that uh um uh, neogi do have a poisonous bite that has a uh, a ten tendency to make people like um just uh, everything feel like like is dull and slow. People just uh, don't react very quickly. Stuff like that. Um, but uh, 
other than magical means to prevent poison, no one really has a like a, a pre remedy or something like that. Uh, so there's no protection from that. Not well, really. there is. But... Okay. I mean, n nothing not non magical. Yeah. Would a protection from poisons work? Scroll work yes. on that? Yes. Yep. All right, and well, Bra Bra Braxton, have a quick look around, see if you can see anything magical that protects against poison. Um, let me see if there are any uh, potions for sale. Yeah, Hold on. That's what I was thinking. Protection from poison. But, uh... There are not protection from poison uh, potions. Uh, there might be potions protection. that neutralize poison, but that's an after the fact type thing. Yeah. yeah. I was thinking you might be able to go someplace and find like scrolls. I don't know yeah. if mm. uh, I'll sell scrolls anywhere, but. Laughlor wants to buy scrolls, but. He needs to know how much money he's going to get from the share, so to speak. So, because I've only got what well, I got like a thousand something in gems, etc. But we don't have a gem merchant to sell gems, so. Um, all right, so uh, there is a potion of treasure finding available for 1200 gold. <laughs> no takers, all right, that's fine. There is a. Uh, there is some oil of slipperiness for 800. 800. Oh, I paid 500 last time. For uh, no, not for oil of slipperiness. What that does? It's, 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 the... it's like super slippery. You put on <laughs> some stairs. They can't go up the stairs easily. Yeah. It basically means you're going to get away. Any takers? I've already got one. Okay. Um, there is a potion of giant control. Um, uh, the... It doesn't specify which type of giant. Though. They're not sure. They don't know. So that's uh, 1,200. That's probably a discount because they don't know what giant it is. Is there any way to figure out these control potions? Uh, you could do some research. Mm. Um, you can figure out what giant to use. Not do that one. What was it? Um, <laughs> it was a cursed potion. Oh. I actually got two cursed potions in a roll, row. Uh, there's a potion of fire resistance for 500. I've already got one. For how much? Five hundred. Five hundred. Yeah. Here, I'll grab that. Okay. Could Braxton get the oil of slipperiness? Uh, yep, eight hundred. Uh, did we divide up the gold from the last adventure? We haven't yet. No. No, that's gonna happen after the session after we go over selling stuff. Okay. Uh, and there's uh, oil of acid resistance for 1,000. There's also two potions of healing available for 200 each. Somebody get that fire resist potion? Yep, I did. Okay, good. And you said uh, acid resistance too, yep. right? Yep. Oil of acid resistance for 1,000. Double the price. Brax is quite good at, at catching fire. I don't think he needs it. <laughs> uh... And the healing potions I'm, I'm going to be buying scrubs, 200 so. each, yeah. Two of them. Yeah, um... There are no protection scrolls available. There are spell uh, spell scrolls for first level spells relatively easily available. Mm. Well, you're answering me, then, or... Uh, you or anyone else who might have asked. Uh, I was thinking if, if mm. there was any protection for mind-affecting things, but I guess not. Platinum are five gold pieces each, right? Yes. Yep. I would look into getting. See if there's any. I could get scrolls when I'm visiting the temple. Over right. the next couple of days. What scrolls? Uh, well, mainly a load of healing spells and maybe um, see if I can get a neutralized poison on one. I buy the healing potions. All right. Uh, the uh, a neutralized poison scroll would 
go for a lot because it's a fourth level. Yeah, spell. I've already got one on me. Um, all right, all right. Forget the neutralized poison if it's like more than a thousand. Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, well, you're right. looking at about a thousand. Okay. I wanted to see if they, if there's like any magic lances available. Uh, there are no actually, magic weapons available at this time. Okay. One, if I can get a dispel magic on a scroll. Uh, hey. That will be 700. No, for that spell alone. Yeah. yeah, well, I kind of want one. And spell if I could get a really few Cure Light Wounds on it, maybe a Moderate Wounds, or not. Uh, 200 for the Cure Light and 400 for Moderate. Oh, God, this cost me an arm and leg. Yep. 400, 200, 700. Because even, even simple scrolls tend to require uh, rare ingredients for the inks. How much am I losing on my gems if I trade gems in? Um, that's what I'm gonna have to do. Right now, uh, thirty percent. How much money do you need, left all? Uh, over a fellow. Uh, well, eight hundred. I'm having to use oh, a few sapphires otherwise. Um, I mean, I've got the money for a damp on it. We can work it out after session. So to speak, or not. I mean, if you think that there's going to be enough in the money to be split up, go ahead and just put yourself into a little bit of debt, and mm -hmm. you know, we, have... we can always. I mean, I we have, can always I have say get... that you've already split up the money, and then just yeah. deal with it afterwards. You know, and a a deal with the actual splitting up afterwards. I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Uh, trying... There's definitely enough in the group pool to cover eight for the splitting for eight hundred. Yeah. Since there's over 500 platinum. And regardless, I mean, I do have enough money if I sell my gems, even at 30% minus, you know. So well, I do have enough money to reserve it. I just need to exactly work it out after session. How much money do you need? 800. Just, we it. just put Not yourself into debt. And, and yeah. you know... Oh, yeah. actually, no, 600. Subtract, that, subtract from that when you... Uh, um, get the... Uh, uh, when, when ah, the money I just gets put a note that it's at minus 600 for the moment. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay. What spell level do they cast at? Ideally, low as possible, but... You know, um... Just, you dispel magic benefits at higher level. <laughs> yeah, the higher the level of dispel magic is written All at. Alright, whatever level ends but, up being it is whatever. Uh, let's see. That is going to be 8th level. 8th level. Yep. Is it just on Vellum, I assume? Yeah. Vellum! That, that's useful, because when he's done with all the spells, he can use that up for another spell. Um, no, you generally can't use it for a new spell, but you could always just use it as piece, you know pieces of paper to as write on. a spell on part. I always think he has a spell component, not a... Oh, yeah, maybe, depending on the uh, spell. Oh, no, that was well. my Detect Poison, but it's kind of meat <laughs> now that you got a sword. <laughs> I might not be around, yeah. or we might lose it. Yeah, but I've actually got a load of... Yeah, I, it is useful in general, but I've got a load of blessed vellum already. Okay, any uh, any other stuff that people want to do to get ready? Uh, I'm wondering what we can use that is as effective as Higamus' bombs, but won't actually kill people. You could always throw nets Depending on Depending on how advanced alchemy is, or the scientific version of alchemy, there is such thing as um, uh, things that just make loud noises that disorientate. I mean, there nets. there are there are things called bam smacks which make noises, but uh, um, if you want to disable people, then you know nets are like your best. Plan. We might be going up against. Um... Oh, you're another priest. <laughs> I'm a no, no. Might be going up against some Hulks again. Uh, oh. Mirrors. <laughs> the, uh, uh, let me put it this way. It's Neogi. Uh, unless they're super poor, they're going to have Umber Hulks. Yeah. Bra you were Braxton, fields? Can, can Braxton go see... Uh, go see uh, Large Luigi and see if he can give him any advice? Sure. Uh, so you go and... Uh, um, 
uh, buy a couple drinks. Uh, that'll be yeah. a, a silver piece. Uh huh. And uh, you, uh, you you talk to uh, Large Luigi. Uh, ask him what he knows about Umber Hulks, and um, I assume you're trying to find out what to do about their gaze. Yeah. Braxton says we're on a secret mission to uh, rescue make some some, rescue some slaves from Umber Hulks. I was uh, wondering if you've got any advice. Large Luigi looks at you with basically all of the eyes that he can bring to bear on you and uh, says, <laughs> Don't look at him! And then starts laughing loudly. <laughs> ah, that's that's uh, an easy thing to for someone with as many eyes as you to say. Um, actually, but, uh, actually not so much. Uh, how, uh, uh, how do I fight them without looking at them? Do, do I, like... Um, can I wear like a hood with blinkers or something? Well, I mean, I guess any... you could, or you could just, you know, try to stare at their feet. Yeah, yeah, that's the point. I could yeah, do that. That was your Do you know? Is actually, going to come in handy. I just realized this. Do you know of anything that uh, that uh, upsets some folks? Mm. Not really. Uh, obviously, uh, to... uh, killing their masters and Yogi uh, tends to make yeah. them quite angry. So there's no sort of dust or dirt I can buy? Nothing that I'm aware of. Okay. Thanks for your help, as always. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed the ale. Yeah, oh, it's always a pleasure to come in here. Yeah, so uh, not so much uh, for, like, things to make him sneeze or something. Yeah. Uh, I, I kind of figured that's what he was going for. <laughs> There's always the powder, the powder, uh, the magic powder that's designed to do make them sneeze. Yeah, if uh, that was available, but uh, there isn't anything available. So, Neo Man, we, we went shopping for magic items on the worst week, didn't we? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, so the the magic items that tend to be uh, easily available uh, tend to be the spell jammer stuff, like uh, uh, sales of maneuverability and stuff like that. Those those oh. tend to be in uh, you know relative uh, easy supply. Wasn't there that uh, arcane uh, that had that could give you, like, runes and stuff? Uh, he wasn't an arcane. He was a Verbeek giant. Verbeek. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on those... I remember last time they had, like, a... Uh, a lifespan on the items. Mm -hmm. uh, how long do I remember him saying that they last? I think it was a week. Week? Yeah, I'd have to go look up my uh, notes on that again. Oh, Okay. Ooh, that's a good point. Maybe he he might have some for protection from mind effect. Because that's what you need to for the Neogi stuff, I see. Or I'm just trying to think case. in my head a week. How long will we be out and about? Uh, that you don't know. You haven't uh, talked to the um, uh, the spellcasters yet. Yeah, I really don't have the money for it anyway. I don't know what I'm asking. <laughs> um, his stuff don't is not that money? expensive. Oh, okay. Maybe I will listen to him. Because it is pretty... Um, short lifespan. Yeah, it's it's short lifespans, even if you don't use it. Uh, Give me a second. I need to look it up. I imagine this is like um, ru runic magic of sorts. It is. Bra Braxton uh, goes off to Higimus and uh, starts waggling his finger, saying, I've got a plan. I haven't quite sorted it out. Um, uh, harpoons. Oh my fired... god, the harpoons again. <laughs> harpoons fired at uh, Umber Hawks. We drag the Umberhawks towards our ship, throw stuff over their heads, 
to stop their eyes working and then club them to death. But uh, I haven't worked out what to throw over their heads. What do you think? I'm just thinking of something we might be able to get. Well, you and me are pretty good aim with our weapons and everything like that, but yeah, their heads are small compared to the rest of them. Yeah, well, we don't shoot the heads. We shoot the bodies. Oh, and like have like weights attached to them so they fall over the side of the ship or something well, maybe oh, i was thinking pull them in no they're pull stronger than me them. you know that right right yeah yeah then we'll say it's like i could but, i mean if you know something to make it work closed i've been practicing that for quite some time now uh... i don't know how long it'll take to up the of using your ears and fe feeling the air around you to fight without seeing it. All right. Oh. Uh, so real fast, um, he has some uh, runes that can uh, boost up uh, the uh, attack power accuracy of some weapons for a short time. Um, he has uh, something called uh, Exploding Arrow. Um, he does have the, the healing thing that uh, you put it in a container and then you pour water in and it acts as, to a certain extent as a, a potion of healing. Um, and he has some other stuff, but I, I would really need to look up uh, a number of these and someone's space bar oh, is I'm very, sorry. very loud. <laughs> yeah. um, I just sent oh, a message. Yeah. Sorry about that. I forgot. Yeah. Uh, it, if we're playing spells, yeah, it should be a wild space bar. <laughs> it is. Anyway. It is. So, so basically, uh, he he's got things that can increase accuracy on on weapons. Um, uh, the exploding arrow. I am okay. So real fast, arrow. these are the runes. I would have to look up exactly what they do. Um, before you know, to, to be sure. Uh, he's got uh, uh, accuracy, 50 gold pieces, death, 100 gold pieces, exploding arrow, 50 gold pieces, healing, 50 gold pieces, fate, 50 gold pieces, love, 150 gold pieces, poison, 150 gold pieces, shield, 50 gold pieces, speed, 50 gold pieces, strength, 50 gold pieces. Uh, and those are the ones that he has available to him. Um, the exact details of what they do, I would need to look up. Exploding arrow sounds good. The exploding arrow would probably destroy the entire arrow in the process. I would probably say yes. <laughs> that would include the arrowhead, which I'm usually salvaging the arrowhead. But... Yes, but arrows are also cheap. They are. Um, Braxton's <laughs> going to go to Lever and say... Uh, um, try it, and he's waggling his fingers around and waving his arms around, saying, trying to think of a way to attack Umber Hawks. Uh, is there any way we can get arrows with magical darkness on them? And, darkness? Yeah, and then we fire them at an Umber Hawk and then we can't That's see it. That's something Laftor did. That's actually, if we can, that, if that we can shoot an Umber Hawk with a magical arrow that, that puts darkness on it, that stops it using its eye attacks on us until. Uh, it depends the on the off. darkness. Because there's one that makes it regular darkness, there's one that makes magical blackness. Yeah. Well, so Brax Braxton, Braxton, Braxton spins around and says to uh, to Zarkud, yeah, well, right, what's the viability? Uh, I know continual darkness, though, don't I? I don't know. Do you? Of... you have your... Yeah, I've got I've got continual light, but I wasn't sure if because it's normally restricted to evil priests. No, it's not. I'm a it, neutral it says that, but that's silly. Um, isn't it? Because it makes an area permanent. Like dark. Globe of darkness, fifty foot or something. I mean, yeah, you have it. All right, I can just do continual darkness. I might have to dispel it after a couple of days. Yeah, I'm just wondering how we can fire an arrow that's got that on without the effect stopping us from firing the arrow. Yeldon would have to do it. Yeldon would have to do it. So He's the best shot. <laughs> yeah. Even in darkness. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm wondering... Um, Yeldon, Actually, so... can you blind fight with an arrow? I imagine part of his blind fighting that he was doing included shooting his bow. 
I don't think it's limited to melee. Um, let me see. So Number one, seen him hold on. Just shooting arrows with a blindfold on. Uh, Leva, uh, do you have an empty first level slot? Just a moment. Because yeah, gaze reflection is a player's handbook spell. Uh, I don't yeah. know that it would yes, actually sir, reflect um, Umber Hulk gaze because it's not th quite the same no. type thing. Type thing in that um, it, it's more that the... Uh, it would protect you from the gaze of that. Uh, basilisks, eyes of charming, vampire, eye bite, and so on. Right. The thing is is that it's more of just looking at them uh, scrambles your your mind um, as opposed to like the gaze of, an, of a basilisk. Uh, but it probably would protect you. Uh, blind fighting, do do do. It just makes the penalty less from a minus four to a minus two. Uh, was it no, in... it's only melee. Is it? Oh. Yeah, it's only melee. Uh... Because you you have you have a sense of where someone is who's two three feet away from you. You have no sense of where someone is if they're 20 feet away from you. Fair. I would have to cast it on them or something, basically. And it might get redirected to like, an area nearby. I think. All right, it's so... Like silence arrows work, but not... Dark. Real fast. The accuracy rune would give you a plus four bonus to an attack roll. One time. Mm -hmm. uh... That would count as a negative. But it's probably a bigger negative for range. Let me see what the death rune does. Um... That's like a different version of silence. Isn't it? What? Instead of making the area silent, you make them not being able to hear. I have no idea what you're talking about. I think he said death as in die, as in... Yes, death. D-E-A-T-H. -E oh, as in bad. without Sorry. hearing. Alright, uh, the death rune, uh, one time only, inflicts double damage against a sp uh, an enemy of a specified race, breed, organization, or nationality determined at the time that it is created. So it's a one-time only thing, but... Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, no, the effect lasts only until the weapon has been used to kill a member of the targeted group. Ah! Oh. So, so you would, you would, you would longer, get right? you would get double damage for um, quite a bit of time. Sounds good. Uh, let's see. Exploding arrow... Yeah, I've been, I, that, that one's important, because I've been... Yeltsin's definitely thinking about buying something like that. Triple damage. Basically, it, it hits and explodes for triple the normal arrow damage. Yeah. Um, they don't, how long does that one last? Uh, I mean, all of these will last a week. Okay. Um, but... Uh, you're traveling to another sphere, so it's going to take longer. You're not traveling to another sphere. We're not sphere. going between oh. spheres. Oh, sorry. That's why we're considering we these. Yeah, because we were playing staying in Brawl Space. But he also yeah. has a limited number that he can actually create at any one time. That's why they... Uh, I mean, all of these last until they're used, but a rune caster uh, can only maintain a certain number of runes at a time. So he yeah he guarantees that he will not uh, eliminate yours until a week has passed if you haven't used it. Can uh, he fate? Can he does, uh, do it for longer if we pay him? No. Okay. Um. Uh, fate will totally be uh, the the rune is put on a coin. You flip the coin, um, and you uh, get for one day um, plus one bonus to all saves and attack rolls if you if it lands rune side up or uh, and a minus one bonus to all ability and proficiency checks. Uh, but if it is 
rune side down, then it's the opposite. One percent chance. One percent chance for the coin to land on its side, and oh. uh, something calamitous will befall the subject during the next day. So that's rolling a one on D one hundred. Yes. Uh, what does calamitous mean? Calamitous. Oh, Bad. calamitous. Sorry. Uh, I'm gonna buy one exploding arrow room. Okay. Because you said the limited supply, so I'll only buy one. Yeah. So I was thinking 50 too, gold but... pieces. Yep. I think you benefit from the rains more than anyone else, just getting a lot of exploding arrows. Considering how fast you shoot them as well. So the. I'm um... assuming because I have to activate the wound and then shoot, that would basically take a lot oh, of. No, they are active. They just. Deacts of eight when the priest stops concentrating on them or whatever it is. Uh, the healing rune a operates as a potion of healing. That has multiple uses. No, it does not. Oh, no. Just once. Uh, the let's see. Uh, poison would not be worthwhile to you guys. The um. The rune against No, because you, you, you put it on a a, uh, a container that holds a drink. So it's like the healing rune. Hmm. Hmm. You were asking something, Braxton? Yeah, sorry. The um the rune against specific creatures, mm -hmm. uh, does that have to be cast on a specific weapon? Yes. Right. And it has to be a bladed weapon. Ah. So could Braxton get it done on the um, on the rod and use it with the sword and the axe, or would it have to be on? Your, your sword would have to be constantly active, wouldn't it? Yeah, I would say that changing it, uh, changing forms for the uh, um, rod would eliminate that. Okay then. Um... Hickamus, get it on Hickamus. This is a great sword. Hmm? Just make it even more ridiculous. He can miss his sword for other hawks. The shield rune will uh, improve uh, armor class of the a shield by three for one battle only. Only Ocker and Hickamiss uses shields. Yeah, somebody should get that. How much is that one? Uh, that one is 50 gold pieces. What did you say about my shield? Uh, you can get a rune that increases its effect. I was distracted for a moment. I'll buy one. Okay. I'll... Okay. Uh, on your shield? Oh. Uh. <laughs> How much is it? 50 gold? My Higamus was asking. You put yeah, it on it's your fifty gold. Uh, I'm trying to figure out: Do I want it on my shield or want it on Ocker's? You have Are you going to get one to Ocker? Ocker does. Yeah, yeah, I'll put it on my oh. shield, my rainbow shield. In that case, uh, I guess I'll get one for myself and get it on my own shield. Okay, just make. Is Ocker. the rainbow shield reflective or partially reflective? No. No, it's just, it's just fancy. And the uh, strength rune gives a plus one bonus to strength uh, for a few minutes. Um, it, it's put on uh, something like a helmet or um, a girdle, you know, or belt. Uh, and basically it's the type of thing that, that as soon as you, you, you put the item on, that's when the, uh, the timer starts. So you'd get uh he he uh, let's see. Weirden tells you that uh you'd get over ten minutes uh of uh increased strength. As long as you wear the item continuously for that time that period. That spells better for that. Does it okay. it's only plus one strength. Okay, never mind. Could be a lot depending on your strength score though. 
Mm-hmm. My strength is 16. That just put me up to 17. That's still plus one damage or something. Plus, yeah, one, plus one to hit. And how, yeah. how much is it then? That one is 50 gold pieces. A lot of his stuff is 50 gold pieces. Yeah. There's a few in there that was a bit more. So that's 50 for that shield rune thing and another 50 for the strength rune thing? That's four runes. Yeah. How many runes can you do? Uh, Not that I'm taking one, but... I will say that he's uh, able to do one more at this time. If anyone wants anything. I think a rune cast... Uh, I'm just wondering if 1d8 times 2 is better than uh, 1d12. Generally, 1d8 times 2. Yeah, Double damage is almost higher minimum good. and maximum spare. Yeah. Uh, how much again was it for the um, the rune of... Uh... The death rune is 100 gold pieces. Is that the one that doubles the damage? Yes. 100. Right, so I can uh, Braxton keep uh, his rod as battle axe for a week? No. Or does it? He can't. It reverts. When you, it uh, reverts. Yeah, it re- reverts after time. So on your Aegis Baron. Oh, no, it's with bladed, doesn't it? Yeah, bladed weapon. Yeah, I, <laughs> just saying, Higamus getting it would be. What you got, Higamus? For what? Great sword. What you got that's got a. A blade on it. Uh, my great sword. Yeah. If I what pay for that? this on, on your great sword, that's three d six damage on normally for large creatures. I think. Does that we scale can... if I enlarge him? Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> but it only it, it lasts until you kill one creature. So that's okay. fine. But, like, if we make this kill Umberhawks, it'll get rid of one. Mind you, you kill them quite easily. Um, what's, what's, Oka, right, what you but got? I mean, it, it, yeah, if, if, if Leva's already thinking about enlarging Higamus, then, you know, you, yeah. you're already getting quite a bit of bonus out of there. O- right. What do you Oka, mean? What, what have you got that's got a, a blade on it? Long sword, right? I have a long sword, I have. Uh, I don't think a lance counts as blade. I think that I have a battle axe. What? If I pay for this rune, uh, what what would you be most likely to use against some hulks? My long sword. Long sword. Okay. Two d twelve against a number hulk. Pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be good for Oka. So I can, can I pay for that then? Yeah, one hundred gold. Now make sure you guys are remembering that you're getting these bonuses and stuff like that. Yeah, I wrote, I wrote down... I wrote What's down the bonus that? from the shield rune? Plus three armor class. Plus one to strength, and... You gotta remember to not wear a helmet, for example, if you put it on your helmet. Yeah, you until cannot put your helmet on until you're ready to get into that battle that, that you want to use it on. Okay. So if you're, putting, if you're putting it on your helmet. Or maybe buy another scabbard. Could he put on another scabbard? No, it's basically... It has to it's... enclose something of yours. So a belt or... Another helmet. belt. Buy buy a spare belt. Yeah, I'll buy it. How much is a... Uh, I'll just say, I guess. Spare... Just put it on your helmet. Yeah, yeah I'm going to put it on... You're not wearing gonna... your helmet all the time, so... so. I'm going to put the shield rune on my helmet, the strength rune... <laughs> no, uh, the shield rune goes guess. on your shield... The uh, shield rune on my shield, strength rune on my helmet, and the death rune on my longsword. All right. Yep. It's a paladin in full plate armor. Oh no, he's got no helmet, shield, or sword. <laughs> oh well, nothing to worry about. That's <laughs> when I break out the battle axe. And you're specifically getting the uh, uh, the death rune uh, for Umber Hulks. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I All think right. they're more dangerous than the uh, Neogi. Okay. Right. Unless, unless Oka asks me to do otherwise, that's what Brexit's going to pay for. Anything that's else 
that you guys want to do to prepare? Uh, not prepare, but yeah, I can't think of anything because. But... I mean, uh, how many days is it going to take us to get there? You we don't, don't know. know. That's the thing. Uh, how could it mean less than a week? Yeah, because it's in the same sphere. All right. Now, could... On the last day, I'm going to cast my te- temporary healing potions. So, so. Oh, mm. yeah. There were a few things I wanted to do. I just realized. Yeah. Well, what? Right. What? What are those? Now, because this is kind of retroactive, because it has to be done when the ghost distributed. Because I don't know if we're going to be leaving the brawl in this session today. Because if we are, actually... then yeah. I, mm, okay. So I can't do that. Yeah, I mean, you're definitely going to be leaving Brawl like when we get back from the break. Yeah. Um, are cow traps or marbles likely to be effective against Umberhawks? Because they got clawed feet. Cow traps, will they? Um, you don't really know, but uh, Umberhawks have thick carapaces covering their entire bodies. Yeah. And they're extremely wide. Yeah, so they're quite stable. Yeah. Cal- Caltrops would hurt them still because they still step on them. It'd and... probably still slow them. Yeah, I'm trying to think of a way I've to. I've got Farity on me. I'm trying to think of a way to, uh, to use their advantages against them. Caltrops. Uh, I don't know. Is that 30. Bag of culture, or is that just Lily? Three lots of ten. I see my fruit ten down at a go. Um, I believe uh, it's ten per ten square feet. Ah, uh, no, no, five square feet. Let me, okay. let me let me look that up. That's a little. That seems a little a few a little not that many ten square feet that or five square feet that. Only ten? Uh, no, yeah, and and that's as soon as I said it, I was like, wait, that doesn't sound right. Uh, there is a number, um, and I don't remember exactly what it is. Let me see. Hold on. It's it's how much you need per. Uh, do do do. I also want to know if did that priest want to speak to me? Could you answer? Said at the end of last session, the priest wanted to speak to me, but I wasn't sure if that was just flavor or what. Um, I based on because uh, I had thought capture, and he wants to know memories of something. Oh yeah, that was just flavor. That yeah. was just flavor. Yeah. Um, no, that's fine. Because uh, he just wanted to, to you know learn whatever you 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 knew, but it it wasn't going to be anything no, particular. Fine. Um. Yeah, I mean, I need to know this this thing in case you guys want want to buy more caltrops because I've I've got caltrops, so I yeah, it's it's ten per notes. five foot, uh, five by five. Uh, hang on, oh, can you paste this to me in the break? It's, it's just show me what book. Uh, combat and tactics. It's in the weapon page description. Number? 135. It's in the weapons weapon description for Caltrops. So you need 10 to cover 5 by 5 uh, square. Um, yeah. I'm a bit hesitant because it would also uh, take out the slaves that are trying to escape. <sighs> well, the thing is that they're probably going to stay below decks until the fighting's over. Maybe. You are, you're they, assuming that they're not going to be using slaves as crew and fighters. They might, yeah, they might also be brainwashing the slaves into attacking us. Don't which need case to, you don't we... need to brainwash slaves into attacking. You just need to tell them you you're a slave. You're owned. You're fighting for me, or you die. <laughs> I mean, slave warriors are not exactly uncommon. Or yeah. unless you can convince them to turn against their masters. Yeah, we'll, uh... Ah! Something to keep in mind. Ah, ah, ah. Braxton wants to get... Braxton wants to get a flag of the Pragmatic Order of Thought. 
to run up uh, Jolly Roger Star well to the attack. Um, you're not. An, I don't think you're a member of the Pragmatic, pragmatic Order. Uh, how much? How much does it cost? They, oh, I don't know they, if they'd let they, you. They, yeah, they wouldn't let you have a flag. They yeah. would not sell you a flag, and um, no one legitimate would sell you a flag if you're not a member of the Pragmatic Order of Thought. We got members yep. of the order. Well, no, they but... might if we talk. You got representatives on ship just for this adventure. Yeah, but you're still not a member. Just because you have people on board, you're not a member of it. Like, yep. the ship itself would have, you know, the ship itself and the crew and the captain would have to register as members of the Pragmatic Order of Thought with the Pragmatic Order of Thought. They'd have so to it's actually not join them. Yeah. It's not enough if Braxton just joined. Right. Fair enough. And Yeldon isn't even actually a member. He's because uh, you know. Yeah, and then then I'd be really looking at the uh, uh, complete Space Harris Handbook and seeing what the uh, the duties and requirements are and what your yeah. benefits and obligations well, Brax, are. Yeah. Braxton's, Braxton's been thinking of joining, but okay. Anything else? Uh, how much is it for my guild upkeep for my thieves guild? Um, so I paid a hundred guild last time, I think. Was it 100 or was it 500? I think it was 100. So, uh, they kind of heard that uh, uh, you oh, killed a dragon. <laughs> dragon. And, I, I, uh, Laftel's going to be like, I hate Akar. I hate him. I've been going around telling everybody about how we killed a dragon together. And uh, um, they, uh, they they, they kind of you know bring that up, and it's like... Uh, You've been uh, doing quite well for yourself uh, lately. Um, yeah. You're uh, well, maybe you'd like to come along, you know. Dues yeah. have uh, uh, not really been been covering how successful you are. Girl, uh, how much are you playing me for? Laughter says. Gonna have to. Well, let's see. Um, I'm not even staying in Brawl for that long. It's it's been a been a few months since you were here and 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 paid your dues. Um, you need to to go for uh, I think four hundred should cover it all right now. Really, three hundred. That's that's uh. We, You're we, playing we, me. We we we. we uh, these are the dues. You can't uh, uh, we can't negotiate dues. Sure, you can. All right, one seventy-five. One? Uh, no, one, no, one. three seventy-five. Sorry. Hmm. I don't know. We'd need something a little extra. Three eighty. We'd need something a little bit extra, non-monetary. Non-monetary. He's uh, what? Well, like, like what? Well. Oh, I mean, that's up to you. What do you... What would you be... Uh... Uh, no, I've got the go to cover it. It's just... um, I was just bartering it down. That was all. Yeah, but you don't really barter down guild dues. <sighs> this is this is like... It, it, it's like protection money. You, you, you don't negotiate with that. Or, you know, your legs get broken. Laugh, <laughs> Laughter's a contribution... <sighs> He's not really. <laughs> All right, now three ninety-five. Come on, five go cheaper. <laughs> I'm determined to get a discount, it, even it, if it's like one percent. It, it it seems like uh, you uh, you don't really want to be a member of uh, of the thieves guild anymore. Um, I do. That but would be there's a, no harm in trying. That would be a right, shame. Four hundred gold. Good, good, good. It's always good to have you aboard. Yeah, clearly I'm appreciated around here. <laughs> no one. All right. uh, I'm not sorry. Four hundred goes. My good god. <laughs> I am not sorry. Can I roll a wisdom check to see if I got fleeced to speak? Because I I think I did. You don't need to roll a wisdom check to find out that you got fleeced. You know you got fleeced. Well, what's this person's name? <laughs> uh, 
I, I don't I don't have a name for him. Yeah, you well, you're gonna have to come Accountant. up with a name now. Okay, all right, all right. Um, you can do it during the break. It is uh, um, Jerris the Gray. <laughs> that was that was Jerris the Gray. All right, he's clearly gonna have a miss happening with his bookkeeping. Okay. So now I gotta go put point. this into the uh, my, my list of contacts, NPC contacts. Jer uh, was it Jarris the Gray? Jarris the Gray, yes. Uh, is there? Uh, is J E R? Uh, yes. J A R A S. Okay. I get the feeling that Jarris the Gray's shoe needs to be your next holy symbol. <laughs> All right. How about his ledger? Or the content of his wallet? Okay, well, um, with that, you guys have uh, gotten, uh, you know, a new crew, uh, a new GIF. Uh, he's a human. Um, got new supplies, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and uh, the uh, POTS members will be arriving uh, when we get back from the break. And uh, you guys can get underway and see if you can hunt down these Neogi. Uh, so we'll be back in about ten minutes or so. So I'll see you. Uh, we'll see you then after the break. <laughs>